Let's take a look at graphs of exponential functions on the T89 calculator. Let's first uh, take a look at my uh, my website. This is www.mathheels.com, and you can go here to get find more links to YouTube videos. Uh, if I go to Graph and Calculus Technology, go to College Algebra. These are all the different topics you can do in College Algebra, and I'm working my way through all the topics and all the uh, different models, calculators. You can go to Math Lectures up here if you need to help with a particular topic. So if we click that, you can go into College Algebra, and um, you can watch the YouTube video. So if I wanted to watch, learn more about linear equations, I could uh, click this YouTube video. This is the exact same lecture, uh, explanation, examples that I give in the classroom. So you can watch that. Okay, let's uh, take a look at our first graph. Got y is equal to e to the x minus 2 plus 3. Okay. I'm going to go to my y equals so I can do a diamond f1. And I'm going to up arrow, highlight y1, press clear if you have anything there. And I'm going to do e. Now you see e is above the x, and it's in green. So I do diamond x. That put, puts my e, puts my caret, puts my beginning parentheses. So then I do x minus 2. And I had to put the closing parentheses for the exponent. And then plus 3, and then enter. And now I'm going to graph that. So I do diamond f3. And that's our answer. Okay, let's look at our second one y is equal to 3 to the x. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my y equals. So I do diamond f1, up arrow, highlight that and press clear, and then I'll do 3, and then caret, and then x, and then press enter. And then I'm going to graph it. So I do diamond f3, And that'll be our answer. Okay, third one. We got y is equal to 2x plus 1. Minus 4. Whenever you're... Um, graphing something or doing anything in your calculator actually and you have more than a single number or single variable you have to in the exponent and you have to put parentheses around it so when we plug this in we have to put parentheses around the x plus one why didn't I focus on that on our first example when you do the e in caret it already put the beginning parentheses there for us so it's handled automatically but this one we have to handle now I didn't have to worry about it on number our second problem because we just had a single x up in our up in our exponent so let's graph this now. So I'm going to my y equals. So I do diamond f1. Up arrow, press clear on that. Then I'll do 2 caret, beginning parentheses, x plus 1. And then closing parentheses, and then minus 4, enter. And then my graph. So I do diamond f3. <coughs> And um let's see what's that look like. Uh, something like that. Be our answer. And that's uh graphing uh, exponential functions on a T eighty nine calculator. Now to exit out you just do second escape and that'll get you out of graph mode.